Hey guys and welcome to my updated 1 to 99 and 120 mining guide for 2020. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. As per usual, we start off with the general experience boosts, the first of which being the wise perk, giving up to 4% bonus experience at a cap of 50,000 experience per day. This is something you can put on an offhand weapon if you'd like and bring along. Next up, we have Pulse and Cinder Cores, giving you bonus experience depending on how many stacks. Torsto Incense Sticks, which can be stacked up to 2%. The Refer Friend Scroll, giving you 10% bonus experience. The General Wisdom Aura, giving you 2.5% bonus experience. Double experience. Experience Weekend, of course, a great time to be training mining if you don't like mining. A clan cap boost, which can range from 3 to 6%, depending on how many times you've capped in a row. And the Inspire Effort Relic can give you 2% bonus experience as well. Here's a massive list of pretty much anything useful for mining that you should know about, which I will cover, and every time I'm talking about a certain item that is very important, I'll show you an image with more information on it. This is just the overview image of useful items. First of all, we have any strength boosting items like potions or the Dragon Battle Axe spec, as every 10 strength levels you'll get an additional modifier to your damage per swing. This is important for your experience per hour. The higher your strength level is, the higher your experience per hour will be. Next up are a variety of perks you can put on your pickaxe, if it is an augmentable pickaxe, which only a couple, I think about four of them are. If you are going to put perks on your pickaxe, here's a recommended perk setup being Honed 6, Furnace 4, Fortune 3. Keep in mind that Fortune is an ancient invention perk. Next up, we have Varrock Armor 1 to 4, which has a chance of mining two ores at the same time if used. And the higher version of Varrock Armor you have, the higher tier of ore this will work on. Then we have the Golden Mining Suit obtained from the Lava Flow Mine, giving you up to 6% bonus experience in total if you have all 5 pieces, because you get an additional set bonus of 1% bonus experience. And the great thing is, it retains the Varrock Armor effect. Next up, we have the Golem Outfits, which there are multiple of, which give you 5% more critical hit chance, and again retains the Mining Suit and Varrock Armor effects if owned, now you have a Sapphire, Emerald, and Ruby version, which if you combine all three can be combined into the Magic Golem outfit, giving you a multiply on rock opportunities, and giving you the ability to mine in the living rock cavern without the living rock creatures attacking you. These outfit pieces can be crafted with level 20 invention and 80 mining using the gemstone fragments you start obtaining after level 70 mining. However, at the point you can craft the entire Magic Golem outfit from scratch, you will probably be over level 90 mining. Just something to keep Keep in mind. If you are training beyond level 99 mining and you're wearing your mining skill kit, you'll have a 5% chance of receiving double ores on the core rocks ranging from copper all the way up to anamica and you'll get experience from that ore. There are also various familiars that boost your damage per swing as they boost your mining level and the Waterfiend familiar has a 5% chance to double an ore and keep it in its own inventory which can be useful for money making if you want to get more ores per hour or you just want to get more ores per hour. Next up, we have Mining Urns and the Urn Enhancer, if you do have it from the Nomad's Elegy quest. Now, these give you around a 20% boost in experience per hour overall, and these can be bought off the Grand Exchange and activated using an Earth Rune. If you are using Mining Urns, don't forget to auto-teleport them by choosing the option in your settings. Next up, we have the Mining Accumulator, which is similar to Urns, but these are filled with critical hits instead. We then have the new Volatile and Explosive Effigies from the Effigies Incubator, D&D, &D, which are similar to the urns and are also filled with experience gained. We then have the Quarry Master Ore, the Rock Crushing Scrimshaw, and the Asiatops Play-Owned Farm or Dinosaur Ranch perk, which all increase the chance of getting critical hits. We then have Skill Chompers, which give you extra critical hit damage on a critical hit. Stone Spears, which don't actually increase your experience per hour, but do grant you one ore every time you mine that ore, and then they are consumed. So this can be used for money making, assuming that the Stone Spirits are cheaper than the actual ore price itself. We then have Crystallize and Light form which can be used to gain more experience per hour, more on that later. The Dwarven Rawhammer which can be used to get two times the resources but no experience, or two times the experience but no resources. We then have the Perfect Juju Mining Potion which is ideal for AFK mining as you have a 10% chance to get a Stone Spirit and restore your stamina every time you use a Stone Spirit. So if you are AFK and using Stone Spirits, you will get better experience per hour because it will automatically restore your stamina. More on that later. 
One item I'd like to separately mention is the Grace of the Elves, because it's extremely good if you have the money for it, as it can hold up to 500 Sign of the Porter Charges, which auto bank your mining ores, and it halves the prayer point drain of light form, which can be used for high level training. Sadly, the item will cost you around 65 million GP. If you ever feel like doing quests for experience, here are a bunch of quests that give you mining experience, but just keep in mind that some of these quests do have pre-required stats, including mining in some occasions. Now this is very important. Pickaxes nowadays for mining are essential to upgrade. If you are mining, just be sure to upgrade your pickaxe whenever you can, as it is very, very important. For example, if you get to level 50, get yourself a rune pickaxe. If you want to wait to level 53 or so to get a rune pickaxe plus 3 and just skip the 1, 2 and so on upgrades, that's totally fine. That works. But be sure to get at least the core tier of pickaxe every 10 levels. You will save yourself so much time. Before we get into the leveling process, you will need to understand how mining works, as it's kind of complicated since the rework at least more complicated than before. First of all, rocks never deplete of ore. Mining is no longer a competitive skill with other players, as ores will never deplete. Pickaxes have stats being damage and penetration. Every pickaxe swing you do deals damage to your rock and increases your progress, which can be seen by looking at the blue progress bar when mining. Once it completely fills up, you will receive one ore or more depending on what you're using. Stamina is a mechanic you unlock after level 50 mining, which is indicated by the yellow orangey bar that slowly turns blue. The more blue the bar is, the lower your stamina is, and the lower experience you will be getting, and the slower the progress will be. Every pickaxe swing you will drain 10 stamina, however you can refill your stamina by simply clicking on the rock again. Stamina gives you extra damage per swing when mining, which is why it's important to keep your stamina high. Rock hardness is also a factor as it can affect the progress per swing if your pickaxe doesn't have high enough penetration. However, if you upgrade your pickaxe whenever you're able to, for example at level 50 you get a rune pickaxe, you should be fine and you won't be losing out on extra ores and experience. Now if you want to check a rock's hardness, you can do that by right clicking any rock in game and choosing the prospect option. Now when mining you also have a chance to deal a critical hit, also known as a critical swing, and the higher your level is, the higher chance you'll have to do a critical swing. While mining you also have a chance to see rock opportunities, which is a rock with a bunch of yellowy bubbles. Now if you click on this rock opportunity, you'll deal a huge amount of extra damage against the rock, and in turn get a bunch of progress towards your next ore. While mining, you also have a chance to find geodes. Now, these geodes are stackable, openable items, which you want to just save up and then open a bunch of in one sitting. They can give you gems, spirit shards, and even more expensive stuff at the higher tier of geodes. And the final thing you need to know, at a higher mining level, you do have a chance to get double ores, depending on your mining level and what ore you're mining. With that being said, let's get straight into the leveling process, levels 1 to 99 and beyond. Levels 1 to 35, yes, levels 1 to 35, you're going to be training on copper and tin ore. Now you have a couple of options in between, which you can do when leveling up to level 35, but it's best to stick to copper and tin for more consistent, fast experience. Be sure to keep an eye on your inventory, stamina bar, and progress bar. If your stamina bar gets entirely blue, be sure to click the rock again to keep it up high to get more ores and more experience. You can fully AFK, but this will cut very hard into your experience. Now if you don't like banking every time your inventory is full, what you can do is store your ores in an ore box, which can be curated or bought off the Grand Exchange, and all the information you need to know is on screen now. However, if you don't want to keep the ores, what you can do is simply drop them by using your action bar. You can drag an ore onto your action bar after unlocking it, clicking the lock, and then simply spam that keybind to spam drop all of the ores. This is very useful at locations where you don't want to necessarily keep the ores, but you do want to sit there and get as much experience as possible. Or simply just bring the ores to any metal bank in RuneScape, deposit them, and smelt them into bars to use for smithing later. That's completely up to you though. 
Now due to the mining mechanics, level 1 to 35, coal and iron are an option if you really want to mine them, but you will probably get better experience just sticking to copper and tin. Now if you have a low mining level and you happen to have started or done the Darkness of Hallowell quest, you can mine day out ore in the Mire Ditch Mine for up to 80,000 mining experience fully AFK. Now if this is nerfed for whatever reason, I did mention Copper levels 1 to 35, but this is also an option. And even after completing the River of Blood, you can still access this area. You get here by using the Berg the Rot boat, as in the quest. Then going to this area as seen on screen and waiting until a vampire approaches you and then you deny him, I believe, the bite and then he will bring you to the mire ditch mine to work. What you want to do inside there is simply just mine and AFK and once you're done just deposit some ore into the minecart and you should be able to leave. If you've done the river of blood quest the only way to get here is by going to the dungeon of Drakan's castle by teleporting to the dark mire using your Drakan's medallion and then pushing a minecart in the dungeon or basement to get inside and then you can also mine here. But yeah, this is a fairly good way of training mining up to around level 48 or so where you're probably better off doing adamant or luminite instead. Levels 35 to 48 you're going to be training on Mithril located southwest of Varrock close to the lodestone for around 16 to 50,000 experience per hour depending on your level and how much you AFK. Don't forget to upgrade your pickaxe to your mithril pickaxe because otherwise you'll be missing out on a lot of experience here. In fact, if possible, try to get a mithril pickaxe plus two. Now if you are going to fill the AFK here, which the footage you're seeing on screen isn't actually AFK, you're best off actually going ahead and buying yourself a perfect juju mining potion and mithril stone spirits. The reason you want to buy these is so that you can fill the AFK without losing too much stamina and experience. These two items in combination with each other are essential for AFKing, as otherwise your experience will be absolute trash. Levels 48 to 58 you can train on either adamantite or luminite ores for around 18 to 60,000 mining experience per hour. If you're using perfect juju mining potions and stone spirits in combination with each other, you should be able to get an experience rate of around 45 to 50. Now as you can see on the video, it's fairly easy to get to the luminite ore by just teleporting to the fallow lodestone and following the video along. Don't forget to upgrade your pickaxe at level 15 mining to a rune pickaxe. If you'd like to train on adamantite ores, you can find these at the southeast Varrock mine. The experience per hour at these two ores are exactly the same, but if you'd like to make some more money, go for the more expensive ore depending on when you're watching this video. That is, if you are going to sell the ores and not drop them. Levels 58 to 68 or possibly even 75 we're going to be training on runite ores. We're going to be doing these close to the Yanil lodestone as seen on the video. This is known as the Fight Arena southeast mine. Now you're going to be training here until level 75 unless you want to change to Aura Chalkite at level 68 mining, which is around the same experience per hour from my testing. Now if you're fully AFKing, no Juju Potions, no Stone Spirits, it will be an awful 20,000 mining experience per hour. But if you're using Juju Potions and you're using Runite Stone Spirits, it can be around 70 or even more thousand experience per hour and if you're actively mining it can be 110,000 experience per hour if you're clicking the rock opportunities restoring your stamina and so on if you do want to mine or a calcite level 68 to 75 you can do that by simply going to the falador mining guild going down the ladder and going to this area seen on the video quite close to the ladder and just mining away Level 75 to 81 you're going to be training on either phasmatite or necronium ores if you do have Draken's Medallion, you can teleport to Berg the Rot and enter the Haunted Mine if you've completed that quest as well, and simply mine Phasmatite there. There are alternative locations, but they have different requirements. I'd say this is the easiest location to mine Phasmatite at, personally. You can mine these ores for 25 all the way up to 122,000 experience per hour if you're actively mining and clicking the raw opportunities. Also, for whatever reason, there are magical axes that do spawn here and attack you sometimes. Don't worry about them, but just, you know, bring along a weapon to kill them with. Otherwise, it's just going to be annoying when you're mining. You can also mine Phasmatite underneath Falador if you do have 15 Dungeoneering and the Dungeoneering Hard Achievements complete. 
The alternative ore, which is the exact same experience, is a lot easier to find. Necrite ore can be found in a variety of locations, including the Alcarid Resource Dungeon, which does require level 75 Dungeoneering to access. If you do not have level 75 Dungeoneering, what you will have to do is go to the Uzer Mine instead. The Uzer Mine is located just south of Alcarid, and you have to take the Magic Carpet to Uzer to get there quickly. This will cost you 1,000 coins. Keep in mind that you are mining in the desert, and if you haven't completed the Crocodile Tears quest, you will take damage from the heat in the desert unless you bring along water skins and desert clothing. Levels 81 to 89 or 91 mining, you're going to be training at the Arctic Azure Habitat Mine on Bainite Ore. If you fully AFK like I am in this clip, you will only get 37,000 mining experience per hour. But again, remember to use those Juju Potions and Bainite Stone Spirits to get the best AFK experience per hour. However, if you train actively, of course, and you're clicking the opportunities, you're restoring your stamina, you can get up to 132,000 mining experience per hour without urns and other boosts. Remember to keep upgrading your pickaxe as you level along, especially at level 90, get yourself that Elder Rune pickaxe. Next up, we have Corrupted Ores in Profidinas for 160 to 180,000 experience per hour. And this can go even higher if you're using Mining Urns, the outfit, and it's Terharian Hour, which you'll get 20% more experience for, and a bunch of other boosts. However, base experience rates are around 160 to 180,000 mining experience per hour, which is fairly good considering it's only level 89 mining. And it's fully, fully AFK. There is no stamina bar. You can AFK here, just click on the rock, go watch a movie, do anything you'd like, it's a great AFK mining training method. On top of that, you can use the around 180 ores you get per hour on smithing as well, which I do cover in my smithing guide if curious. Levels 91 to 97 or 99 and beyond, you're going to be training on either Dark or Light Anamica. You can find Light Anamica close by the Chernwind Lodestone. And, again, if you're fully AFK with no Juju Potions and no Stone Spirits, you'll get an awful 38,000 mining experience per hour. But this quickly goes up if you're clicking Rock Opportunities or if you're just AFKing using Stone Spirits and, of course, the perfect Juju Mining Potion. AFKing without a perfect Juju Mining Potion and Stone Spirits will give you about four times less ores per hour than if you were to just actively click Rock Opportunities without Stone Spirits. That's an insane difference in terms of ores. Now you can also just train on Dark Anamica if you'd like to. This is located in the Empty Throne Room. You can get that quite easily by using your Archaeology Journal to teleport. And then just go inside, go down, and click on the Dark Anamica there. The only reason you want to train on these over light or the other way around is if the ores are more expensive. Now even though you can use Crystallize and Light Form at level 75 mining, I'm going to mention them at this part in the video instead. If you want to spend money and get more mining experience, it is possible. You can get up to 40% more experience using Crystallize and Light Form when mining Anamica. Meaning you can get up to 280,000 plus mining experience per hour, which is fairly insane considering considering how slow the skill is overall. However, you will be spending money on the runes to cast Crystallize and it won't be very AFK. However, if this floats your boat, this is an option. If you want to gain even more experience, you can click every 4 ticks, which is 2.4 seconds for even more experience per hour as your stamina will always be high. This is again something I don't recommend doing because it's a lot of effort, but if you want to maximize your experience per hour, that is definitely an option. If you want the absolute best full AFK mining experience, you're going to have to train on Aaliyah Crab Lids in the Ark at level 97 mining for 200 to 230 or more thousand mining experience per hour. This is by far, in my opinion, the best way to train mining at the higher levels because it's AFK and great experience. What I recommend you do is try and find an island on the Ark that will give you multiple crab spawns and just claim it and do this thing as a daily or alternatively go island hopping and just farm these crabs 24-7. Keep in mind to sell the Aaliyah sea salt you get from the crabs for more supplies to keep hopping to large islands. And don't forget to upgrade your pickaxe to the highest level if you haven't already, like Elder Rune plus 5, or even try getting the Earth and Song pickaxe with the best perks in game. 
I will now get into some alternative ways of training mining, as there are quite a lot of ways of gaining mining experience outside of the regular training methods. The first of which is capping out your citadel, giving you up to 105,000 mining experience per hour at level 99, which isn't very good, but if you're going to be capping anyway, you could get yourself mining experience all the way from level 1 on. You can also gain mining experience from divine locations, which can be created using divination energy and ores. You can do war brands every day for 360,000 experience per day at level 99. I do have a guide for this, link in the description below. You can get bonus experience from three different mini games being Cabbage, Face Punch, Bonanza, Stealing Creation, and Barbarian Assault. You can train in Dungeoneering, although this is not really recommended. And you can do Fallen Stars for occasional mining experience as well. With that being said, we have covered the mining skill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.